New to the cinematography workspace is a tool called color palettes. For those of you who work in design or graphics, you're probably familiar with creating patterns of five colors that are like a color theme. In cinematography, now we talk a lot about color palettes as well. We thought it would be interesting to create a place to bring in color palettes, to be able to have a tool to compare those colors to images in your photographs, and to also create and generate color palettes or color schemes with images. So again, in the cinematography workspace, here's the tool here, color palettes. You can also turn it on and off with this switch here. This opens it up and immediately you see this sort of gray swatch. That's because we haven't created any color palettes. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a color palette from the test shot that we shot here of the block. So I'll click on this and now we get the tool in the workspace here. You'll see this circle with an X on it in the middle. Now you can move these little color pickers is what they are. You can move them around and find colors that represent the scene. And we could now save this as a color palette. So I can come over here, hit this little make a swatch, we'll call this yellow. So we'll call that yellow, save it there. So now if I ever want to look at this swatch again, I've, I've got it there. I can also export it and share it and it's been named. One way I can use this tool to compare these values to what I'm seeing is to use this zebra opacity button right here. So if I click on this, it sort of cuts holes in the swatches and I can sort of compare the values. Also, you can AB values. So you hit this AB and the swatches and now you can AB values top and bottom and you can also turn off the zebra and kind of see what's happening there. Now if I want to create a palette from maybe an image that I've just found on the internet like something that has got a cool color scheme and I just want to grab those colors I've got a JPEG here of an old poster and I'm gonna drag that in and put it in my references. Now I'm gonna turn off the AB. Let me shrink this down a little bit. That's Huge. Oh, and we're cropping it, so let me uncrop it there. Okay. So we got some pretty interesting colors in this poster, and I can turn on the sampling tool here and move these guys around. And um, let's see here. Get that pink going, and the yellow, and then this shade. This shade's kind of similar. Maybe we can grab that orange as well. Now we could save that. So I'll come over here, and we'll call this one. Alaska and there it is some of you who are familiar with color palette swatches or color scheme generators know that you can make color schemes online there are some great websites that have cool apps that can help you generate color schemes and let me show you one of them called coolers here and we can say we want to generate and they've got all these great tools to adjust and create color schemes. You can explore color schemes that other people have made. So let's say you get to the point where you've got a color scheme that you've made it or someone else has made it and you want to bring it into Dragon Frame. So you can hover over one of these color schemes. Let's take this one down here, Floresta, and we'll export that. You can do a ping or, or, or you can do this SCSS file. So we hit that, it saves it. And one of the odd things about this site is that when it saves it, it just gives it this generic name palette. You know, so you, you're gonna have to rename them as they come into Dragon Frame. And now from Dragon Frame, go to the menu and you say import swatch. I'm already set up to look at the downloads folder and then we import the swatch. And it comes in with this generic palette name and you could then select it here and then rename it there. Now Adobe also makes a really great color scheme generator but they have a very odd system for exporting which is they don't. It's just they took out the import export on this. I don't know why. It's just 
picking colors, but they did. But if you like to use this, we came up with a little workaround. So here's how it goes. If you've created some of these and you save them in your themes, or if you go into the explore uh, section and you see the color schemes, you can come in here and just take a picture of it, like a screenshot. So I'm gonna pull a screenshot of this one. Okay, I've just saved the screenshot and it's now on my desktop. So we took that screenshot, but before I import the screenshot, I want to rename it. So here it is on the right hand side down here in the corner. We'll call this Adobe Color. Okay, so now that's called Adobe Color. And we will say import swatch and we'll go to our desktop. There it is, Adobe Color. So we built a little thing that will notice what it is and realize that the image you're bringing in is a set of swatches. And now here's that Adobe Color. Another cool thing about this tool here is that you can change its size so if you for some reason want to see your colors more bunched up or if you're trying to stretch them across a bigger image on your screen you have the ability to do that as well you have a great color scheme in here and then you can start to do fun things like the A and B and you can A B color swatches and you can A B things that you're sampling live as well when you're done using the tool and you want to close it up, you click on this, the main icon at the top and that will turn it off like that. And of course you can close it up here. That's the color palette. We're very interested to see how you guys use it, how you implement it, and uh, we'd love to get feedback on it as well. Thank you.